factorize this large number with the normal guessing method what do i mean by this method we are taught that when you have something like this you look for two factors of this that when you add them together you get minus four right now that guessing method will be difficult if we use it in this type of large expression now i'm going to show us how to do this without using the guessing method and this method is easier and faster first we are going to start with what we already know normally when you are asked to solve this sorry when you are asked to factorize this the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to concentrate on this minus six two zero now the first thing is that a here is equal to one right the coefficient of x squared b here is equal to minus four and c is minus six seven two zero okay now normally we are going to focus on this minus six seven two zero and we look for two factors of minus six seven two zero that when we add them together we get minus four and that's going to take us a whole lot of time and sometimes you might make mistake because trying to fix the signs on the two factors you get will still take you time now in this method we are going to concentrate on the sum and not on the product now remember that first of all since the a coefficient of x squared is one then the answer to this will be in this form this is going to be x plus say m multiplied by x plus n right the answer is going to be in this form whereby these two numbers are the products of this that their sum will give you this so it means that m plus n m plus n will give me minus four right and m times n will give me minus six seven two zero but like i said in this method we are going to concentrate on our sum and not on our products now i want us to look at something let me turn like this so that i can explain this very well <laughs> so this is what i mean we know that m plus n right m plus n will give us minus four now let us try to form an equation from here or a formula rather if this first of all minus four let's divide it by two we get minus two minus two right so it means that minus two plus minus two will give us minus four now let's do so one or two things now if i should subtract a certain number from minus two and add the same number to this minus two here i will still get minus four now this is what i mean let's subtract one from here and add one to this now minus two minus one will give us minus three plus minus two plus one will give us minus one so you see that this will still give us minus four okay now let's try two okay minus two minus two will give us minus four plus minus two plus that two will give us zero so you see that minus four plus zero is still minus four so it means that if we have minus two and we subtract a certain number from it okay and then we have this minus two again and add the same number to it we still get minus four that is what we are going to form from here do you understand yes so if we make this statement if this equation is correct then it simply means that our m is going to be this right while our n is going to be that so let me write it out somewhere because we need it so it means that minus two minus p we give us our m once we get it we substitute it here right and minus t plus p we give us our n right now this is very important okay now remember that if this is m and this is n m plus n will give us minus four which is our b but m multiplied by n will give us this our constant right yeah so let's go ahead and concentrate on that now it is now we are almost done we are almost done if this is the first time you have seen this amazing channel click on the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos yes we upload interesting videos two three times every day so at your leisure time always tune in to our channel to watch new new updates or new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video thank you very much now back to what i was saying remember that m plus n we give us what minus four but m times n we give us this so and our m is this so we have minus two minus p multiplied by our n which is minus two plus p we give us this right 
to give us minus 6720. Now, when you look at this, it's, not, it's very easy to solve because this is difference of two squares. Yes, and difference of two squares says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b, right? So in this case now, our a is minus 2 and our b is p. So let us analyze it. So it's going to be minus 2 squared, okay? Then minus p squared is equal to minus 6720. Do you understand? Yes. Now minus 2 squared is 4 minus p squared is equal to minus 6720. Now, to remove this negative sign, let me cross this to this side and then cross this one to the other side to remove the negative sign as well. So it's going to be 4 plus 6720 is equal to minus p squared we cross to become plus p squared. So we have 6724 is equal to p squared. So to get the value of p, we take square root of both sides of this equation. Okay? So p will be square root of 6724. Now this is a large number. And I have a trick where you can get the solution to this in seconds as well. And I'm going to apply that trick. I'm not going to give details here. I will leave a video here attachment that is going to give you detailed solution or detailed way of doing it so i'll just do it quickly i'll do it quickly all right so the square root of six seven two four will be uh this ends with four so definitely the, my answer is supposed to end with two or eight Yes, 2 squared will give me 4, A squared will give me 64. Like I said, I will leave a video that will explain what I'm just doing now. So I'll cancel the last two digits. I have 67. Now, the closest number that will give me 67 will be 8. 8 squared is 64. So it means my answer is either 82 or 88. Now, how do I know if it is 82 or 88? After 8, I have 9. And 8 times 9 is 72. Okay, and 67 is less than 72. So I will take the lesser number. So it means that the square root of 6724 will give me 82. You can press your calculator. Don't worry. I will actually drop that video here so that you go there and watch what I just did. So square root of 6724 is 82. So it means that our P, okay, is equal to plus or minus 82. But in this case, it doesn't matter. Whether positive or negative, they will give you the same result. So I'll rather go with just the positive result, okay? Now, this is our P. So I'll take my P to be equal to 82. Now, let's go back to the equation and substitute our value. Remember the equation we formed. Our M, okay, to get M, M is minus 2 minus P. See it here. So this is equal to minus 2 minus 82, which is minus 84. Can you see that? All right, now our N is what? Minus 2 plus P. Minus 2 plus 82, which will give us 80, which is 82 minus 2, right? Which will give us 80. So it simply means that, let's go back. Listen, remember that this is what we wrote. So to factorize this is going to be X plus M, and M is minus 84. All right, multiply by x plus n, and n is plus 80. So this should be the final answer. Now, if you say minus 84 plus 80 will give us minus 4, and minus 84 times 80 will give us minus 6720. So this is how to factorize this without having go, having to guess, 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 and guess. If you find this interesting, please share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.